trying to my black soap and then I would dissolve it. Like, I don't know who trained you guys to do that. Who, who did? Tell me. Like, are you making liquid soap? Do you want to make liquid black soap? Why are you soaking your soap with water? Hi guys, Fausta here and welcome to today's episode. If you're just tuning in by my channel, hi, welcome. Please feel free to go around, check my previous videos, like, share, and do not forget to drop a comment. So this is actually my first video with this hair, right? I hope you guys like the new look. <clears throat> so a quick one, guys. We would actually be having a promo sales on the 10th and 11th of March, right? 10th slash 11th is actually our anniversary and also my own birthday in honor of this we are going to be having an up to 30 percent discount sales and the first 70 people to order products via our website will be getting free gift okay so please kindly hurry up i'm so tired we had a shoot today but i just have to make this video as you know it's popping in my head so pardon my mood my mood might not just be as lit, okay? Because I'm extremely stressed. Matter of fact, my voice is gone. So guys, on today's episode, I want to actually make a part two of the reasons why your black soap smells awful, okay? In case you're new here, we have over three to four different black soap videos. I'm talking about glow soap whitening soap liquid soap a whole lot of black soap videos on this channel you want to scroll down through my to my previous videos to check them out and all these videos read comments from people that have tried it out and how nice it worked on them trust me any recipe i give you on here on this channel they are saleable okay so um now let's talk about the reasons why your black soap smells i think i made a video about six months ago as regards the reasons why your black soap smell so all my videos that i've made like six months ago eight months ago 13 months ago i want to start making updated videos now okay so that you guys will know the new trending things you know things change almost every time so now let's talk about the first reason why your black soap smell <clears throat> now the first number one reason why your black soap smells a lot is because you use puree in your black soap okay so um what are puree puree are probably fruit extracts like that is raw fruit extracts so some people believe the best way to de derive the nutrients of fruit is to blend them raw like that into their soap okay so take for example some people be like oh this soap is made out of cucumber carrot lemon um what else do they use banana pineapple name it they blend those raw extra then they pour it into their black soap straight like that and at the end of pouring it they will not even add preservative or fragrance so at the end of the day when their soap gets to their client it starts smelling awful so number one thing that you want to avoid when making your soap is using puree so instead of using lemon uh, garlic ginger or whatever thing that you use in your black soap don't use it use them in form of powders or essential oil matter of fact i think they even give you more nutrients than using the puree directly okay using the puree directly takes so much time to work but if you instead of adding um pineapple directly if you get the original raw pineapple oil you would really really get amazing results from it or what else carrot oil you will get amazing amazing beautiful results from it you can even go to the extent of adding essential oils into your black soap if you need those nutrients so so badly instead of adding them in puree form you can also option for botanicals so we have carrot powder we have orange powder right so instead of adding your orange or lemon or lime into your black soap you can add orange peel powder into them we have a whole lot of botanical powders that you can use in place of these things now let's go to the second reason why your black soap smells now when you 
don't preserve your black soap it can smell a lot of people are, will be like oh why do i need to preserve my black soap when i did not add water to it maybe i'm supposed to preserve something that i had water to yes you're supposed to preserve a product that you had water or any water like substance into it okay so if you're making black soap you had omiaro omiaro is a water-like substance added into it there are also some concentrates that they are not oils they consist of both water and oil together that you need to you know hard preservative because of those things you know some people will even go as far as adding um lemon juice some people go as far as adding um stretch firming water you know a lot of things that comes in water form that you had into your black soap aside those things black soap itself during making they put water into it so what are you talking about so what are you talking about please try and hard preservative i know some people will be like oh not all skin type works with preservative not see preservative or subtraction to product should not be something people should be proud of you should some people will even be like oh uh, something 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 preservative free and you expect me to buy such product that i know at any point in time it can just get spoiled it's not something you should be proud of at all please add preservative to your product some people will be like oh some people react to preservative some people react to this we have any customer that react to preservative let them know buy their product your product maybe you should make their own smelling one separately but if you're producing in mass and you have a bigger vision for your company or skincare brand or business please do not joke with preservative preserve your products okay preserve your black soap it is super super important so now for those people who are going to ask what kind of preservative you can use for your black soap yes we can use broad spectrum preservative i mean preservative that can protect against all forms of bacteria right we can use liquid gamel plus optifem plus right we know the difference between these two preservative are their usage percentage usage rates Optifen Plus, you can use between 0.1 to 0.5%. Um, while Liquid Gamel Plus, you can use between 0.5% to 1% in any formulation. However, some, some formulation, you can just add 1% of either of the two. I hope you understand. So please try and include preservative and you can use either Optifen Plus or Liquid Gamel Plus for your um, soap uh making okay now another thing why your product smell is when you don't add fragrance to it guys one of the reasons why people love fab such black soap so i had to go bring one like i said we are on shoot and this is actually the location we used for the shoot so we had our brand photo shoot today the fourth 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 slash fifth of march so if you want to see amazing pictures hurry up to our page to see them right i hope by the time i drop this video i know i'll probably i must probably have dropped some of those pictures so this is fab Storage black so this is our glow soap have our glow soap right the 400 gram size look at how it looks it looks so amazing and guess what guys it does not just look amazing it smells great this alone uh, if you give this to a kid they will probably think it's chocolate because of the smell the texture and also the way it looks and feels right see most of you guys and eh, you usually make production as if you're making for yourself okay whenever you're producing for audience a large audience or even if it's a small audience produce as if your life depends on it produce as if you're making for people you don't know their background a lot of people don't even like black soap i have so many people who don't like black soap but because her own is super exceptional they started buying it okay same goes to so many of my clients abroad that they do not like black soap probably because of how it looks or how it feels or how it smells bad but when I convince them to buy this small cup, they come back to buy big size because of how great it smells. So in order to prevent your black soap from smelling, please try and enhance it with fragrance, you know, flavors, nice, 
smell fragrance so some people will be like oh what fragrance can you use ask your organic raw material sellers to sell you fragrance we have different kind of fragrance we have banana fragrance candy we have um, rose we have um, blue water we have mango we have a whole lot of fragrance out there you can even combine two or three um fragrance so that your 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 soap will have an exceptional smell okay please try and start adding fragrance to your product and you can add it at two to three percent into your formulation or maximum five percent okay now the next thing why your soap smell is because of the addition of sulfur now there are other things that can replace sulfur in your formulation sulfur is super great for reaction very good for inflammation it also good for pimples eczema rashes and other skin irritations right but however sulfur has a way of making your black soap turn out to be extremely smelly so i would advise you to exclude sulfur away totally from your black soap don't use sulfur there are things other powders like neem powder tamarind powder can replace sulfur in your formulation tamarind is super great for acne to inflammation skin irritation infections and so on um neem powder is also very very good for acne matter of fact neem is the best form of powder or liquid you can add for eradicating acne so please try and replace <clears throat> your sulfur with other kind of powder you can also use miracle powder or 3d vitamin powder to replace sulfur so sulfur is a no-no for making when you're making black soap okay you can even pour palm oil instead palm oil is also very good for irritation okay and it clears out skin let me call this a tip that i want to give you another thing you can do to prevent your black soap from smelling awful is to please always try to shred other soap alongside your black soap so what do i mean by that if you have like 45 to 50 percent of black soap in your recipe try and have other soap at like 15 to 20 percent or probably 15 percent is okay it goes a long way so what are the other soap i talk about if you are very conversant on my channel you would already know what other soap i'm talking about so now okay so you're using your black soap at 40 percent okay let's say 40 percent right and then you want to use other soap at 15 percent now the 15 percent can be divided between anti-reaction soap and lightning bath soaps i'm talking about bath soap so anti-reaction soaps can be in form of dudu osun um iru antiseptic soap mekako soap or any other soap that can help prevent against reaction you can even use treasure's zone soap right so for your lightning soap you can use any soap that is super active for lightning ozone soap um what's it called ozone soap is not actually a lightning soap here yeah? it's an exfoliating soap but it can also help boost the effectiveness of your soap so you can use ozone soap you can get probably your glutathione injection soap you can get white now soap um pure june soap we have a whole lot of soap lightning whitening soap out there that you can use to boost the effectiveness of your black soap now guess what guys most of these soaps smell very very fine they smell great so imagine grating soaps that smell very very well into your black soap it helps boost the you know smell effect so aside the fact that it boosts the um laddering effect it boosts the power effect like the lightning effect you know it also help you prevent it also help you make your soap smell nice so if you have any shower gel or bath soap that smell really 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 nice nice trust me guys you can actually shred this soap or pour these shower gels into your black soap just to make it smell nice so now another one just popped up in my head now for those people who used to say okay my black soap is too hard i want to actually break it down or dissolve it by adding water or pouring water into my black soap and then i will dissolve it like i don't know who trained you guys to do that oh who did tell me like are you making liquid soap do you want to make 
liquid black soap why are you soaking your soap with water i don't understand why are you soaking your soap with water you don't need to soak your black soap with water except whether you're making except you're making liquid soap liquid black soap that is when you should probably incorporate water into your black soap right but you're making the paste kind of soap like this one why are you putting water to soak it instead of of having water to soak if you want to use the soaking method like we have different kind of methods to you know soften your black soap i've taught you guys a lot of methods on here on this channel like if you see my video for the first time please kindly ensure to watch some of my black soap videos because this right here you probably will not be able to relate to something that i'm saying right if you want to we have various methods to 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 soften your black soap with you can use the machine method that i taught you guys in my last five to six videos you can use the melting method that is you put on low heat on the fire you can use the dissolve method now the dissolve method that i usually tell you guys i do not say i will never tell you to go use water to dissolve your black soap better still you can use shower gel or every oils and concentrates that you intend to use in the formulation pour it into your base soap leave it for like few days before like if you leave it for like three to four days the black soap will soften up by itself so it will be very very easy for you to process okay so all this soap liquid soap probably you're using body wash you're using um um cleanser you're using concentrate you're using whitening oil omiyaro what else any oil oil like product you can even add sunflower oil glycerin you know add everything into that bowl after you must have shredded your black soap into powdered form as best as you can you know then you had all the liquid thing you intend to add that oil or water like product that you intend to put into your formulation add it don't have the powder or i'm talking about don't have the powder yet just have the oil stuff cover your black soap for like four days by the time you get back to it it would have softened up then you can start probably pounding or whipping or smashing or whatever it is you intend to do okay so that's a very good one to you know avoid adding water to your black soap because adding water to your black soap no matter the amount of preservative sometimes would still make your black soap smell okay because there is limit to the water you can in include into or incorporate into your black soap that would not make it turn out smelly so try and do all this that i've said i hope with this video i've actually been able to help somebody i'm so sorry that i didn't really smile in this video like i told you i'm so so stressed i'm super super stressed honestly i just have to make something for you guys that's why i'm talking about this i'm making thank this you so on. much for tuning in thank you so much for staying tuned up to this moment i really appreciate you um please don't forget to shop your products we have various training packages reach out to us via description bar see you guys in my next video bye for now